morning guys welcome to the shades and so what it's been like two weeks i've not made a video about it you know from last week i had some time i was traveling as i told you guys in the last video that i was traveling so i cannot make videos and or i was trying to make videos but i'm not getting the opportunity as i had uh, you know, so much work to do and so much traveling to do but last week i came back and did have the time but i could not go ahead because of the process of doing you know ramp uh, completing, uh, finishing those work that I was doing. But right now, this week is very critical about football and I was thinking of why not make a video. But I'm not wearing my Chelsea uh, t-shirt as I normally do when I make these videos. I want to do it a little differently, not just about Chelsea. Obviously tomorrow I can make a video about the obviously the Europa Cup final match. But today I'm going to make a video about football itself and not just about Chelsea. Obviously Chelsea Football Club and the news regarding Chelsea will trickle in because you know it's a football club. We're a fan of Chelsea so obviously that will come in. But starting with um, the news that I uh, saw from yesterday night and still and I felt like I want to talk, wanna talk about it is uh, Newcastle United and talking about Mike Ashley. Now, a little bit about Newcastle. I always liked that club in the sense that from the mid-90s, we remember, they were always a very good club with Alan Shearer playing for them. I remember they came second a couple of years. Uh, obviously, Manchester United, that was that time, was the best team in the Premier League. And, uh, but if you look at it, Newcastle was so good under Keegan and under <coughs> with players like uh, Alan Shearer and they had this Colombian, I forgot his name. Right at the moment, I forgot his name. Was such a great player. Uh, they had a couple of great players. David Ginola was also a player. He was one of my favorite players, Ginola, who's not a Chelsea player, but I liked him so much. So anyways, uh, seeing them uh, doing so well, even there was a time when made it to the Champions League and obviously then getting relegated. But it's one of those big clubs which you want to see more of them. You know, it's a big clubs, so you want to see them doing well. And for years, Newcastle United has not done well. So it's good to see that they have been purchased. 350 million pounds, I think, Mike Ashley has got ahead and uh, sold them to the cousin brother of the owner of Manchester City Football Club. So this interest, another Arab taking over our English club right now. And this will be interesting to see another big club going. And now if they do something like what Manchester City has been doing for the last few years, it's incredible. They go out there and do a shopping spree, go out and buy some players. They already have a very good manager in Rafa Benitez, who I think is an excellent manager. He was a former Chelsea manager, former Liverpool manager. Has won uh, the Spanish league with Valencia a long time back when it was so tough to win the Spanish league. I mean, even now it's tough. I think we are Madrid or Barcelona, nobody wins it. So this is huge. Sorry about the um, background noise about it, but super forget about, forget about it. Anyways, coming about to this um, this whole acquisition, uh, it's a great thing for English football. I think it's very exciting for an English football fan overall. Uh, obviously, if you are a fan of a certain football club, whether it's Chelsea, Manchester United, Newcastle, you got one other club coming in who who is willing to spend millions to buy these players whom you want to buy, and so it has more competition in the market but overall if you look at English football this is a great club like Newcastle Football Club I think they have the best of fans in terms of the way they celebrate the way the you know St. James's Park uh, it's no longer called St. James's Park anymore but how that stadium is how the Toon Army as they call how the <coughs> fans there is are so vocal and so wonderful so it's a great thing for the club and their fans to have uh, you know, money in it and they put in some money and they can hopefully go out there and purchase some great players and hopefully they will also be in a top level club maybe can compete with the likes of Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, Man United to winning the Premiership in the coming few days. So it's a good thing for English football. I personally believe it's a good thing for Newcastle obviously football club and their fans. So I hope they go ahead and do all the best for their club and hopefully you know, they bring more competition in English football and English football is in the high right now. You know, two English clubs in the Champions League final, two English clubs in the Europa Cup final. It just shows how good English football is and it's great to see another English football team doing well. More money coming in, it's only great to see English football doing well. Anyways, that's over and so I want to go to the next topic in the big cup match. The big, uh, the final of the championship playoff. It's Chelsea versus Chelsea, according to us Chelsea fans. It's Frank Lampard's Derby County against Aston Villa. 
which has a certain John Terry in it. And it will be incredible, it will be very tough, like it has been very tough for, you know, for the Chelsea fans this season to talk, uh, who have been totally divided uh, between Sarri in and Sarri out, less like that, I think the current Chelsea fans will be totally divided to support whom? Do we support Derby County and Frank Lampard? Do we support uh, Aston Villa and John Terry? And it's very tough for me as well to actually even think whom to go ahead for. I mean, which team which actually getting into the Premiership will actually benefit Chelsea? From a practical point of view, it is very tough to call either. I, for one, believe if Aston Villa goes through, you know, you know, someone like Tammy Abraham gets to gets to be with Aston Villa, maybe most likely. And a lot of Chelsea fans would not like that. They will want Tammy to come back to Chelsea, but I personally think he should stick with Aston Villa if Aston Villa makes it to the Premier League and they uh, and uh, he gets to play more match time. Maybe he'll get, end up playing 25-30 matches if he's fit and if he can good, play well. If he plays well in the Premier League for a club like Aston Villa, then we can call him into the Premier League. That's how I have always felt about Tammy. I don't know what the club will think. I know a lot of Chelsea fans might not agree with me. On the other hand, Derby County, Frank Lampard has done an amazing job with Derby County. I just really, this is my take on it, I really believe that you should stick with Derby County, uh, even if they don't make it. But I personally think they will make it. This is my, ch between the two clubs, I will come to it at the end, but I feel like Derby County has a better chance. But it will be great for uh, how Frank has done. And I personally don't think Frank will want to come to Chelsea at this time with the transfer ban and everything. He doesn't go out and get to uh, buy players. And most likely Hazard is leaving. So there's no point for Frank, a new manager, to come in, whether it's Frank or whether it's some other manager. So he has done a great job in stick with Derby County, especially if they make it to the Premier League. And then we have players like Tomori and Mason Mount in that team. I am expecting Mason Mount to come back to Chelsea, most likely. But in case Derby County makes it to the Premier League, both Tomori and Mason Mount is going to get more match time if they stick with Derby County than they come to Chelsea. But with the transfer ban, there's a chance that this, uh, you know, at least Mount will come back to Stamford Bridge. But saying that, it's exciting times for Frank Lampard, Derby County, Mason Mount, and even for Aston Villa if they make it. But I think between these two teams, if you ask me, I think uh, Derby County just edges it. Frank just edges it. Jody Morris just edges it. They have that, you know, the X power. I feel they're just a little bit extra to make it. You never know. Aston Villa can prove us wrong. But if Derby makes it, I would really like Frank to stick with Derby County for one season more keep them in derby county it's been a long time derby has not been in the premier league so it will be great for derby fans to see them in back in the premier league and frank should stick with them giving the likes of tomori at least i don't know what mason if he's going to come back or not i will want him if derby makes it to the premier league to stay with derby play 25 30 matches in the season in the premier league get more match time and gets himself you know, race to the level where he can come and really contribute for Chelsea. Because now if he comes in, he will be in the sidelines, most likely. He's not going to be a first choice, straight away. It'll take him three, four months to get into the first team. It's not going to be that he's going to come in and he's going to lit it up. It's not going to happen. I know a lot of Chelsea fans will disagree. Or a lot of Chelsea fans will believe that that might not be the case. He might uh, start from the day one. But it will not seriously will happen that he's still 20 years old. You cannot expect him to just go out there and make it happen just from day one. That's what happened with Hudson Odoi. I mean, he started a couple of matches, but then, you know, it took him some time. It will take time because you're young, you're going to be rash, you're going to make some mistakes. Good, you will learn from those mistakes. But at clubs like Chelsea, you need players who can keep on going on every match and match out. So anyways, it's great news. I think both, it will be an interesting match. The final match today, Derby was Aston Villa. It will be very interesting. We'd like to see that who wins. Best of luck to both of them. Hopefully, both of them give their best shot and only one can win, you know, that's the sad part about it. So, hoping that, from my end, that Derby goes through, but both Derby and Aston Villa, hope both of them do well, really well. Hopefully, they will be one. Now, coming to the third topic and the final topic, I guess, um, of the sad news, I don't want to end the videos on a sad note, but, you know, with, I'll make a video tomorrow with only a cup into it, but Nogola Kante might not be available. Um, for the uh, for the final match, I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully, he's fit. He is like a machine, um, so hopefully he will come good. Now, yeah, coming to the final thing was uh, Sari and the possible transfer to Juventus. I'm not entirely sure as much from what I take for, in it. I feel 
Sari would not like to leave Chelsea at this moment unless he's getting a lot of money. Number one, Chelsea would not uh, sack Sari at this moment because Chelsea has a transfer ban. Chelsea doesn't have money. We are keeping on paying every season to our managers. Nine million. Antonio Conte just the other day came the news. So we had to pay nine million pounds to him. If we sack Sari, we had to pay another five, six million to him and his coaching staff. Doesn't make sense. So unless Juventus comes in or any other club comes in and pays for him to Chelsea and then you know if they take Sari out from the team only then Sari will be sacked so all you Chelsea fans who are watching if you think Sari will be sacked by Chelsea that's not going to happen first and foremost Sari himself will also not leave I think he has done a very good job at what he has got in him the players you know the mid-season revolt against him the player part that has always been there at Chelsea he has done a very good job according to me so I feel feel that two finals two cup finals and even if you don't win the Europa Cup we would love to win it obviously but even if they don't win the Europa Cup they still have done a fantastic job top three position in the Premier League Champions League next season so I think that it's a great thing I will want Sari to stay at Chelsea I'm a big Sarian fan everybody knows I like Sari and I want him to stay I want him to build the team whatever we have with the transfer ban included it has been harsh for him we have been harsh a lot of Chelsea fans have been harsh a lot of Fans overall have been harsh with uh, Sari. I really believe that he has done some very good job and given time he can do what Pep is doing. As simple as that. We don't have the money Manchester City has but even if we go ahead and spend some money in the coming years and we support Sari, I think we will be going to a higher position much than where we are right now. We need to trust in Sari. A couple of years for sure he is going to get us something great. So uh, keeping in tight, I think Sari will stay. I hope we have a great week this week. And I'm going to make a video tomorrow about the Europe Cup final, Baku and everything. So I'm signing off for now. It was great making this video after two weeks. So guys, as always, want to hear it from you guys. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about all the topics I talked, spoke about. Newcastle sold by Mike Ashley. Good thing or not. You know, I think well, who will go through? Derby or Aston Villa? Who will? Let me know and what you guys think and uh, obviously sorry Juventus and everything so till until next time which could be very soon maybe tomorrow uh, keep it coming thanks for watching bye